All right, let's do this. Yeah, we're good. Mm -hmm. Let's do it. Hey guys, Matt Bishop here backstage at Carolina Rebellion and I'm here with James from Asking Alexandria. What's going on, man? Not too much, man. Just chilling. Having a bit. Cheers. Having a bit. A having a bit. Enjoying life. In the States. You guys kicked ass earlier today. How was the crowd? Uh, it was absolutely fucking amazing, man. It was so good. I mean, I, I, I love Carolina anyway, you know? Regardless of where we are in it, but shit, today was so good. So good. A lot of people came out. A lot of people went crazy. There was a lot of tits in the crowd. It, just, it was good times. It was just good times. It was good times. I ask a lot of bands that are from overseas this. You guys are from, you know, the European rock culture that is just, you know, head and shoulders above anywhere else around the world. You guys got the Download Festival, Reading, things like that. Are, are we catching up over here in the States? Is this kind of, I, I think, are we I getting think, there? I think, I think um, the, uh, the festival culture out here is, obviously it's still fucking massive. It's in terms of size, it's definitely there. It's, it's, coming, to, it's coming to that point, you know. But um, it's like a whole different like vibe out here, you know. It's more like the radio uh, infused, which is awesome because all the tunes you like, you love and you want to hear and you want to like sing along to, you know. Whereas like in Europe, it's uh, it's more uh, I don't know, it's more of a metal metal vibe, you know. Well, a bit more darker, a bit more. Be more that sort of spec, but um, I love it out here, man. Like, the radio fest, we, we, this tour we're doing, the Don't Pray for This tour, um, is hitting a lot of these festivals, and it's just badass. It's so sick. It's awesome to see these responses, and from a, a whole different uh, fan base to what we used to, it's fucking fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. You guys have a new single out, The Death of Me. Indeed. Crushing it right now on the rock radio. It's all over the place. What has it been like playing this new song live? Finally getting some new it's, original it's, stuff it's, out there. It's been it's been fucking amazing, mate. It's been amazing. It's it, it's it's like it's like playing a new a new chapter in my band's life. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Like um, like we, we've been playing this and like radio's obviously been playing it a bit and you know just playing it. You can obviously see people are new to it because our older fans, you know, of like they know our old songs like the back of their hands and they, they can sing along and everything. But everyone's getting into it. It's, it's just like sweet. I'm glad everyone's liking our new progression. So. It's fantastic. You guys kind of filled the gap a little bit in between the studio LPs. You put out a covers record. Yep. What was that experience like? Picking out the songs and. Uh, I mean, I feel like it was just songs that influenced us and that we like to listen to. And, like, to be honest, we like to listen to a lot of fucking like old school 80s hair metal shit. Yeah, like, yeah. That, that, we, we we dig that a lot, you know. And it, and like we sort of feel like that it may it may uh, show in our music, you know, a little bit. Like I hear it. Yeah, it is a, it's a tiny bit. I mean, we 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 still we still a fucking metal band. Like we're still heavy. We still always will be. But but we still try and bring that flair in there, you know. So it, that that was pretty much in our picking. We were like we were picking those those tracks that we loved and growing up and like I know evolving as musicians. Those were tracks that we really loved. Are we going to hear a little bit more of those influences on the upcoming record, do you think? Yes, yes, definitely, definitely. Uh, by no means is it going to be a, a lighter album. It's heavy as balls. You haven't seen the heaviest yet, like, just me. The heaviest yet is still, statement, is, yeah, it's still to come. <laughs> I mean, like, Run Free is a heavy track, but it is by no means the heaviest track. There is some seriously, disgustingly heavy shit. Dark lyrics, evil shit, but but then again, you know, we have, we do like the, the radio stuff, like the, the rock, like the rock and roll shit, the sing-along stuff. We like it, you know, I mean, that's, we also grew up with this that shit, so we've got a few tracks that are really, really, you know, sing-along, very vocal, very, very, not, not, no, there's no like you know discords. There's no, there's no dark listening. This is very, very light, very easy listening. So, it's gonna sound amazing. Man. Do we have I'm, a release so date yet? Yeah. July. July what? July. I, I, there's not a distinct ah. one yet. Not ah. distinct one yet. But 
July. July. All right. For sure. That's for sure. awesome, though. We can we can deal with that for now. Yeah, you, you can look forward to it. July. July, bro. July. Where are you guys headed after this? What's the schedule look like rolling into the summer? Oh well, straight after this tour, we do. Uh, we, well, we have like. And maybe a brief week off and then we head straight to Berlin and then we do all the uh, European festival dates. Which is going to be fucking manic because it's going to get heavy. Rammstein are playing and Rammstein are pretty much one of my favourite bands ever so going to be fanboying over them and especially because we're following their tour so it's just like Wee! all the, all, <laughs> all the festivals are going to play with them. And it's going to be fucking massive, it's going to be badass. And then we come back over over the Pacific, you know. No, 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 no sorry. Over the pond. And then we hit South America again. Nice. For the first time in a while. So, And then after that, we have two tours coming up one in the UK and one in America. And we can't really say it out loud, but trust me, they are badass. All right. They are fucking sick. And I guarantee everyone's going to fucking love it because it's, it's big time tours. It's sick. Nice. Dude. It's going to be sweet. Thank you so much for joining me. I greatly appreciate right, it. It's been a pleasure. Asking Alexandria, ladies and gentlemen. Reckless and Relentless is still out right now, as well as under the influence the covers EP from AA so go get them until July the new studio album man I cannot wait I am so stoked catch the band on tour a fucking a ladies and gentlemen Cheers.